Good morning guys, it is 10.21am and it is hot already. Australian summer is very, very hot. Um, I've already been productive this morning. I have... I have edited yesterday's vlog. It's currently exporting right now. And then I will be uploading that onto YouTube. I also headed downstairs to the shops and bought some coconut milk and I'm currently making chia pudding so that's exciting because I've never made it before and I'm really excited to try it and I've also paid for my acting classes this term so just waiting on confirmation for a receipt which I'll probably get tomorrow or the day after. Other than that I'm just chilling out right now because it is very very hot. Wet. So I've just finished eating my first serve of my chia pudding and check it out. It is amazing. How yummy is that? That's chia pudding there with a layer of banana in the middle and topped with frosted mixed berries. Yeah. And now I finished it, so I'm going to give this to the cat to see if he wants it. Fergus, here. Yeah. Guys, it is just past 2 p.m. and I am on my way to the car so I can go to my acupuncture appointment and then from there I'm going to go to the gym. Question of the day though. There's a little argument going out on Facebook between a couple of my friends. What colour is beetroot? Is it red, purple or burgundy? Now for me, it's not burgundy because burgundy I associate as red and brown like it belongs to the maroon family and it's not purely red so I would go with purple only because beetroot itself has hues of both the red and blue and if you ever put red and blue together it's clearly purple because if you're going to put it in the red family well then it would be like a capsicum or a tomato or strawberries or something of, of, of those colors whereas beetroot is definitely not pure red so I put it in the purple family. Let me know down in the comment box below. Where would you put it? Red, purple, or burgundy? Can we please appreciate Australian summer? Like, look at this weather. Clear blue skies. Absolutely gorgeous and amazing. It is hot. I've been inside all day. So I haven't been able to feel this heat. This wind is absolutely beautiful. But this sun is absolutely hot. I am not excited to get into my car only because chances are it's in the sun. Oh, but it's summer and I love it. I'm now here at the gym and I'm slowly getting my things together because I need to practice my routine. Um, so I'm an acupuncturist and apparently I'm losing a lot of my cooling energy. That's which is why my body is heating up which is making me itch. So I need to do some research as to what is this cooling energy and how I can retain it. Okay, let's go. Well guys, it is 9.49 p.m. and I am now home. Class went really, really well. People loved Zumba Burst. So I'm glad that was great. It was a little bit challenging though because I had to teach with the book and the pages started ripping. So it got to the point where I was just like ripping the pages off and dancing with me. Ugh whatever it'll be it'll be better once I've got my once I've got it in my memory for now I am going to help myself to some more chia pudding and make some more so I will show you how it is done let's get my so this is actually what it looks like once the cheese seeds have absorbed the coconut milk, you can see it's quite, quite gluttonous. So I'm going to empty that. 
Alright guys, so I didn't put any banana in it. Whoops. But I did put the frozen berries. So yummy. So when you're making this, you want certified organic black chia seeds. Feel free to use the white ones as well. They're just as good. And we're just going to put a buttload of these in the container. see how we go with that. Then I need to open up the coconut milk. Okay, coconut milk. So as you can see, I can definitely put more chia seeds. So let's do that. Chia, chia, chia seed. Okay, now to mix it up. And that, my friends, is how you make cheesy pudding. Feel free to put in any fruits that you like. It actually tastes really good with banana. The coconut milk and the banana is a really good blend. So definitely try that out. I'm going to enjoy this and go to bed. So have a good night. Thanks for watching. Leave me some comments down below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.